Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be fired off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pip boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next TT. I've unlocked the west and east gates to Puesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers to the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets. A pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence, only firing the event is. Get the three in position, then travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre, we're plundering history. Taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily, not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate. The outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. So, are we on our way to somewhere else? A gala event, perhaps? The gala event is the way to bring the old man out. He won't show himself until the casino doors are open. So triggering the event is key. And the key. The question becomes, can we trust each other to do this? We'll see. If we go there, you'll have to give me control. If you bring Dog out, then I'll make sure you pay in blood. Maybe it's familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require brute strength in the right combination. Besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200-year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. More. Don't push your luck. Easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology, as if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. 
I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog from clever humans like you. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... Uh, he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed, just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages, like the ones here. More. All it takes is the right command. Whenever Dog hears the... his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist, and the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. Still, if you ever want to speak to me, bark my audio log at him, the one in the police station. That'll call me out. Dog is afraid of me as long as the master isn't around. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below, like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red... Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. You're a... Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck... You're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre... Then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand.
Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah, Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, Dog fetches. You were in a man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent. Before the cage. I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is? is that it was when Dog was out of his cage. Free. Hungry. He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however, so he dragged you here. You got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. More. The way back doesn't matter. Try to leave. Try to disobey. And your collar ends the journey faster than you can say, begin again. You're clever. You'd be able to find a way back if you left the villa. Dog can... I can find the way back, if back is where I even wanted to go. Until the old man lets you go, you're going nowhere. This beautiful paradise, with all its toxins and death, it's home. Me? Me? 